You're listening to the Not So Black and White Real Estate Podcast with your hosts, Sir Colin Campbell and Gary A. McGowan. Good day, good day, good day. It's your host, Sir Colin Campbell, here with Gary A. McGowan, and you're tuned into the Not So Black and White Real Estate Podcast. We're on site right now, one of the biggest real estate events here. And in the hot seat right now, it's a woman that I've admired from afar. This woman is just the queen of real estate. I call her Lady V. She will introduce herself to you. Lady V. You're so incredible. What a vibe today, Colin. Thank you. Or should I call you Sir Colin? You can call me anything. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but just not sir. I, I am so fascinated by today at the KW Canada event with over a thousand realtors. Have you heard some of the speakers this morning? They've been so incredible. I love attending conferences. Been doing it for almost three decades of my real estate career. As you guys know, I'm a licensed realtor, but I don't trade in real estate. My husband does. Uh, you know, operate his team out of Oakville, Ontario. Yep. And as you know, I run the Buzz Conference, which is Canada's premier real estate conference for real estate professionals and strategic alliances that allow a complete um, consumer experience come together with ease. And it's just a pleasure being here with you guys. I wanted to meet you both live. I met you during COVID online. That's right. <laughs> and now we're here together, side by side. Yeah. So thanks for having me. This it's, is amazing. I gotta, I gotta throw something out here, and I gotta, I gotta be a little shameful to say I had never attended a Buzz conference before. And you will it's, it's, soon. I, well, here's the thing. Last, last year in March. I had the opportunity to come and, and actually to be one of the mm. speakers. And when I was there, right. I, I was blown away. Uh, I came back and I told everybody, this is a conference, our brokers, we, KW, anybody, I don't care where, what brand you're at, uh, this, is a, this is a conference that's built for agents to better improve their lives. Yeah, and it's great networking too. You know, I think right. it's really important that we've, you know, we've been together online for almost three years to get back into a setting where you're networking and learning and meeting, shaking hands, hugging, kissing, whatever whatever it may be. These are the people we sit across the table from each other when we're submitting our offers and, and reviewing offers. So it's nice to know who we're working with. I'm, I love digital and digital signatures, but let's face the facts, there's nothing better than being beside you guys today. And it's funny Wait, because- Wait, hang on a second. She's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> now, when anyone thinks of real estate conference in Toronto, the GTA, right away bus conference comes to mind. And the way you build that brand, it's, you know, it's, it's not affiliated with any real estate brand in itself. It's just, this is a conference for real estate agents. You want to learn, you want to grow in the industry, you come to this. So we know we, we had one end of January, we're having a uh, disruption in March. How did we get here? You mean, how did it all begin? Yes. You know, it started almost 12 years ago. We started hosting, you know, smaller conferences, uh, meetups, summits, anywhere starting from 10 to 20. They all of a sudden grew to 100. Our last conference that we had in 2020, we had almost 1,200 realtors wow. there, but not only realtors, you know, we bring together, like I mentioned, strategic alliances, associations, real estate boards, broker owners like yourselves, uh, team leaders. It's really important for the industry to have a space to come together and collaborate uh, and collectively. I think if we don't do that, people are just working against each other, not with each other. So that's what really the Buzz Conference represents. We're also very strong believers in DEI. Diversity, equity, inclusion is always at the top of our list. As mentioned, I, I'm a licensed realtor for almost 30 years. We've always seen the same person or person speak at real estate conferences. It was very important to me to feature all genders, all ages, all cultures, all backgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, men, women with different stories and unique perspectives about Canadian real estate. Um, that's what the Buzz Conference represents. If we don't have an area just for the industry, again, 
brokerages are working against each other, mm -hmm. and our role is to help people work together. There's also some other really great, uh, you know, conferences like Reality just had their conference by the Ontario Real Estate Association. I know Treb has Realtor Quest coming up yes. in, I think, May, and I've missed Realtor Quest, so I'm really excited about that one as well. But the Buzz Conference Disruption Conference 2023 is taking place on March 30th. We've secured the Liberty Grand Entertainment Complex, and we hope to have a really great turnout there as well. It's going to be amazing. Um, I know we were talking a bit off air about uh, women in the industry and just some of the barriers that, you know, as a woman, you've continued to break. Uh, tell me more about that. Well, I don't know if it's actually happening, but it is something that we are encouraging companies, brokerages, associations to see. Love what's happening inside the room behind us here, but so far the first four speakers have been men. So I am waiting for a female to open up a brokerage or association uh, or you know corporation event. I think it's really important that we start to see women. We have here Empire Builders, which is a book written by uh, Val Simino, who is uh, incredible at operations yep. and and office management and she was one of our speakers at the Blue Summit that just took place uh, in January and the Blue Summit is under 35 so mm -hmm. we've got a younger crowd that uh, is really passionate about serving they've changed our industry over the last few years and it's been really important to acknowledge the younger generation and Val set the stage with the important things to do uh, from a business perspective, and that's basically set the foundation of your operations, of your office or your team. Mm -hmm. So it was great for this uh, younger generation to hear that. Um, the Blue Summit, or the Disruption Conference, that's everyone is invited to that. Um, any age group is for everyone, really. Beautiful. Uh Talk to us a little bit more, a little bit more about the breaking the barriers and as a woman and how important. I know I tried to avoid that question. I know. Right? We know to I, know. I went. I went right. I went right into <laughs> Val. We know it, it has. It has been really <laughs> hard for me. Um, let me. I, let me kind of. Yeah. No, that's okay. I just want to set this up in the in the aspect of how important is it for uh, the younger generation or a younger generation to see people like yourself in a Val and others on a stage or leading a great organization or in fact leading well in whatever they're doing. And just even before you answer that, um, and I know you're, you wanted to avoid it. Yeah, I but did. But <laughs> as fathers of yeah. girls, uh, I have a daughter, Gary has two, we need strong examples for them to follow as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're digging on this and mm -hmm. we're bringing it back because the example, what you're doing here is not just for you. Mm -hmm. You're setting an example for my daughter as well. Our right. daughters, and so. my daughter and I. My daughter is the co-founder of Buzz Buzz Media Excellent. Inc. You know, she's she's the creator um, of the Buzz Digital Magazine as well as one of the organizers of the Buzz Conference. And she prefers to work from a very quiet space uh, because you know people do chat. And um, I, and again, as a woman, I am going to try to avoid the question one more time. I I want to. I want people to see me or see others like myself, whether they're an author, a broker owner, um, a, a real estate coach. I want them to see women just as equals. Put us on the stage, make us feel part of your company. Uh, even just being here sitting with you guys today is fantastic. I mean, I'm you value my information or my contribution to the industry and I really do appreciate that. But let's face the facts here. It's really difficult for women to to have a seat at that table. And Buzz Conference has that table, and we've grown it. We have hosted several female-empowered events where we've had every broker owner, every CEO, COO. You know, we love Joyce Perron, um, Sherry Chris, uh, Karen Yulevsky, uh, even Lisa Patel, what she did at the yeah. Toronto mm -hmm. Real Estate Board during her presidency. <clears throat> She's truly fascinating. 
And I think we have to recognize uh, these women and really utilize their voices because when you don't, when companies don't do this, they are leaving money on the table. Yes. yes. They are going, they're never going to recruit women. They're never going to empower women. They, they're never going to attract women the right way. And I think by utilizing our voices, our strength, our experience, our passion to serve, I think is uh, is a benefit to any company or organization in real estate. I think what was interesting that you mentioned there, um, Navi, that you know you were asking for a seat at the table for so long, and this is what I admire about you. You're like, screw it, I'm going to go build my own table, mm -hmm. and you build a massive table, and the table that you've built, you are very aware of how you were kept out, and you are now including everyone. Mm -hmm. And that speaks so much to you and who you are. And it's just a great example for a powerful entrepreneur and what she's doing. So kudos to you for doing Thank that. you so much. But you know, I really, I really just listen. I've become such a great listener. And by listening, you're able to set boundaries and parameters or perimeters of who you want included. Because when you include voices who feel they are not enough to be included, and you ask them to be included, it's like, wow, am I, am I really that special? Do I really have something to contribute? Uh, and I think it's important that we look at everyone, whether they're a $10,000 producer or a $100 million producer. Everyone has something contr to contribute to the industry. And when you show that person who's struggling that they've got something special, I think it also encourages them to find it within themselves. And I've seen that happen with people through the buzz where I, the feedback I get is, well, Virginia, you've included me in the magazine. I, it's really helped my brand. I feel validated. I share this information online. I share it in my newsletters. And people look at me differently because they see that I have a voice and I have something to contribute to the success of a real estate experience, whether working with buyers, sellers, or sure. investors. That, that's incredible. Oh, well, I am certainly glad that you opened up about all of that. <laughs> I think that is gonna provide so much value uh, to our listeners. Uh, let's segue a little bit, but still talking about the Buzz Conference in a sense, uh, or a platform, if you will. Um, you, you mentioned the word, it allows people to collaborate. Yes. And, and that's something that both Colin and I work really hard on. I don't care what brand you're with. Mm -hmm. I don't care what hat you have on yes, yeah. or yes. who you are or where you're from. Uh, let's grow our business together and right. build something things massive. like that. Yeah. I, think right? it's really, I think it's really important um, not to be envious of each other's successes. I think when we work together, you know, I love seeing yourselves today. I love seeing Jeff Ham. You know, yesterday my yeah. husband said to me, um, Wow, I was just on Treb and Jeff Ham has had the biggest sale on Treb yesterday in that's a day. Amazing. It was like a seven million dollar sale. And he says this, that's so incredible. And just to hear him say something so positive about someone else who works with another brand, I think that that says a lot about our industry. And we need to start doing a little bit more than that. Things have gotten so competitive and so out of hand online. And we really do have to go back to collaborating and working with each other. Real estate agents seem to speak with real estate agents online. I think we're going to go back to real estate agents speaking with the general public, speaking with consumers. Um, it's We can't compete that way. Mm -hmm. We have to collaborate, collaborate more. Yep. Right? Is, yep. is that just myself? Do I see that myself? or? Uh, I, I think you're seeing that, that start to ripple through and... and I think it's so important because we, if we don't have events like this or your buzz conference and things like that where people just get to know each other, mm -hmm. let's just start there, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that provides so much value to the industry without even being purposeful about it. Right? Yes. We, you have friends cr being created. You have all of a sudden a, a referral partner out in wherever part that you're from. Uh, you, you call up that other agent because they, perhaps they've already experienced something that you're going through. Right. And, and with conferences like Buzz and this and others, uh, I think it's so, so valuable, especially after the last few years that we've had through the lockdown. Right. Uh, 
we need to get knee to knee or shoulder to shoulder and everything else, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and another thing that's really important too is I don't only follow real estate agents to see what they do in their business. Like I love seeing family things, whether, you know, I've, I've gotten to know you a little bit, just you and your family online. Right. And I think there was like a ski photo and I, 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 just things that you post show me that there's more to life than just real estate. Yes. And yeah. you use real estate as the vehicle to give you that life. Yeah. Uh, because it allows you time to spend with your family and do the things that are important. And I think we're going to start to see a lot more of that in 2022. I think we're going to shift a little bit about how we think about our business because 20, 30 years ago, I always remember my family came first. And things start to get really busy like Q1 of 2022. And sometimes you forget about the family a little mm -hmm. bit. We really do need to find that balance, although I've always believed that there is never balance, but we do have to look for ways to operate from a space of real purpose and intention and collective co uh, collaboration with each other. Well said, well said. Obviously, with the things that you're doing right now, you're looking at not just opening doors, but I just think you're smashing them down oh and you're creating God, opportunity so... for people. Who has been that one person that you can remember that has created opportunities for you? For me, it was, I'll tell you a little story about- You like stories. Yeah, the, the late Ron Finney. Okay. And I use this all the time. Ron Finney is married, was married to Loretta Finney. He's, he's passed. He was an incredible light. And I remember my first week, two weeks in the business uh, when I was selling and I, I really wanted to do well. But you know, you get licensed and the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna sell luxury real estate. Oh, I don't have the luxury car, right? Um, and you don't have all the processes in place. So I started to ho uh, do open houses and work a little bit with the Finney team. And I remember um, Ron Finney gave me an open house and he drove with the open house signs in his car and I followed him. <laughs> and he was putting the signs on every major intersection. Mm -hmm. And he told me before we left, just watch the intersections where I put these signs. So being specific, um, there was a reason, everything had a reason, everything had a purpose, there was an intention. The busier intersections would attract more opportunities to the open house. So as we're driving into the street, so he's put out maybe four or five, the sixth sign into the street, and then we're driving into the um, court, and I see it was a million dollar home at that time, so probably worth about five million today. <laughs> I see a cemetery next to the mm. house, and I thought, great of all places, my first open house, and I get the house <laughs> that sides on to a cemetery. So I'm very nervous. Um, he pulls up into the driveway, I pull up behind him, he gets the final open house sign, and he puts it at the end of the driveway, and as he's walking back up, I'm out of my car looking at the cemetery, and he looks at me with a smile, and he says, Virginia, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. There's people dying to get into this neighborhood. Nice. <laughs> and I, from that moment on, a switch kind of turned on, and I thought there is a positive in every situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the same with the industry that we're in right now. So much talk about interest rates. God, I bought my first house. My interest rate was 14 and a quarter percent. My father bought his first house. The interest rate was 25 percent. Six percent, listen. We have to deal with it. We'll Our role as realtors is to look for options and solutions and provide an extremely impeccable real estate experience for our buyers and sellers. We can't keep recycling media as a realtor. Let the mortgage brokers do their thing. Let the media do their thing. Our role as realtors is to provide options and solutions to people. That's it. Awesome. Would you agree? I Yes. <laughs> Okay. The answer is yes. Yeah. We agree. <laughs> I, love I like it. it. I like it. Okay, we're going to wrap up in just a moment here, but we like to have some fun with all of our guests as, okay. as, as you've been experiencing. And uh, we have something called rapid fire questions. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a set of questions, and you it might be yes or no answers. Okay. It might be one word answers, but um, they won't be serious at all. 
Okay. All right. They're so, very serious. Oh, I should say they're very serious. So hang on a second. I'm going to play a little little music in the background oh, I here. I like that. There we go. Right? On fire. They're on fire. Let's okay. Let's do this. Question number one. Okay. Uh, one of four, obviously. Uh, favorite season of the year? Winter. Winter. Woo, there wow. we go. Is it wrong for a vegetarian to eat animal crackers? Never. Never. I like it. I like it. Uh, ooh, this could be a good one. You might have to think on this, though. First celebrity crush? Brad Pitt. Oh, hey, now. Really? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, really? <laughs> I'd say yes to that, too. Come on now. I was thinking uh, Tom Select or something. Or Idris Elba. Or, or Idris Elba. Elba. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Uh, favorite junk food? Chocolate. Chocolate. Is double dipping at a party ever acceptable? Never. Never. Whew. Yeah. Uh, favorite type of tea? Uh, chamomile, probably. There you go. Um, I always like this one, Colin. We always have some fun with this yes. one. At name one of the seven dwarfs. I was going to say Curly. <laughs> no, that, there's no such thing. He's one of the three, he's one said, of the three stooges. Yeah, yes. said dwarfs, not stooges. Curly, Larry, Grump, and Grumpy. Okay. Grumpy, okay. Wow. And listeners, watchers, I, I always preface this or tell people this follow up never read into the answer. <laughs> <laughs> of that last question. Okay, we move on. Uh, would you rather cake or pie? Cake. Very good. Very good. And uh, the last question. The, the Sound of Music or Mary Poppins? They're the same. No, they're not. They are the same actress. <laughs> okay. The Sound of Music would or you rather, Mary Poppins? Would you rather watch... Is that Julie Andrews? This? It is yes. Julie Andrews. I would sing it right now, but I don't have the right microphone. Oh, are you saying would I sing it or would I watch would you it? Watch? Would you rather watch? Oh, I would rather watch it. I need to be. I need to experience that. One or the other, Sound of Music or Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. All right, there you have it. That is our rapid Love fire it. questions. A little fun there. We get to know Virginia a little bit. Always fun. Um, here's what. Here's what. Here's what I'm taking out of today's podcast. Is yep. a. It doesn't matter uh, where you are in, in, in your life or your world or what have you. Uh, in order to move forward, you need to do it with others. Yes. Right? Yeah. We well, need to collaborate together. Yes. Uh, you're doing it as, as a leader. Uh, you're leading uh, women. It, you're leading not only women, but others, that, that perhaps other minorities. Uh, you're breaking down barriers, uh, Virginia, and, and we admire you for that. Oh, Continue to do so that. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank How, you. Uh, 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 w sorry. One last question. Oh. How do people connect with you? Yes. They can connect with us um, on Instagram at The Buzz Conference. Perfect. The Buzz Conference. Or visit the website at thebuzzconference.com. There you have it, my friends. So go do that. Uh, do yourself a huge favor. Uh, if you're here local, you don't have to be local. Come to Toronto. Attend one of the Buzz conferences that, that Virginia and her team hosts. They are outstanding. Thank and, you. Uh, for Virginia, uh, thank you again for being on our podcast. That's Sir Colin Campbell. I'm Gary McGowan, and we'll see everybody in the next show. Bye for now. Bye for now. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to click the subscribe button so new episodes will automatically be downloaded to your device. Please help us reach more people by leaving a rating and a review on your podcast player of choice. Now go make it an amazing day for somebody. 